a Cobblestone já foi palco de alguns dos cluts mais históricos e emocionantes do CSGO. Nesse vídeo vamos explorar os cluts que ocorreram nesse mapa icônico, revivendo os melhores momentos e as jogadas que fizeram história, incluindo jogadas de brasileiros que conseguiram ter muito sucesso no mapa. To just Snacks. Does find one. Oh, no. Let's not leave him out of this. The Big Apple and Snacks is hungry. He's got one kill already on the USP. Low HP as well on Guardian and Flamey. He's trying to bait them out, trying to get them into one on ones as he dances back and forth between the box. What a shot on Simple! Oh, Guardian, bye bye! And it's on the Flamey. He's tapped it. Flamey's got a big. What in God's name is that from Snacks? Unbelievable. Up the MP7 that Skadoodle dropped early on, but he won't get any further than that. He will not get a bomb plant down. Cold's just fighting at this point to try and salvage the round. There's no way plant is in mind. It's all about kills. It's a one versus two. Knows one's close as well based on the nade. Doesn't really have the range. The CZ has the accuracy. Oh, oh! Gets off with Cold Zero! What? 1v2, about 30 seconds left. Last time he was actually close to doing a 1v3. This time, see if he could do it when there's one less member alive. And He's got the C set as well. I think he knows where they both are. He's just saw him, seen Carrigan run away, and he must be able to guess where Cajun is. He must have heard the shots behind him. Oh, with 15 seconds to go, he's got to pick up some pace. He's got to hope for this 1v1 up against Kerrigan, then get the bomb down thereafter. This is going to be very difficult. He doesn't have like any time to work with. The bomb plant's going to take five seconds alone. He's going to go for it behind the fountain. Kerrigan just going to charge him down. He's going to miss quite a few pistol shots. Kenny S, he picks what? up the kill! Kerrigan should not have put that! He gets the second! Kenny S clutches the round! Se você quer conhecer o mundo das apostas no CSGO, um site que eu recomendo é o Anexbet. Eles estão há anos no mercado e agora estão em parceria aqui com o canal. Para os inscritos do canal, eles estão disponibilizando o cupom de boas-vindas Scout1x. Usando ele, você recebe até 100 dólares bônus ao depositar. No site, você terá acesso às principais partidas do cenário competitivo do CSGO com odds para diferentes acontecimentos. Além disso, você tem a possibilidade de apostar em partidas de futebol e diversos outros esportes. Acesse o site da Onexbet na descrição, faça seu registro registro e escolha o método de pagamento de sua preferência para fazer o primeiro depósito. Não perca a chance e saiba mais sobre esse assunto no primeiro link da descrição. Seja bem-vindo ao canal Scout de FPS. Eu sou Yasuki e hoje vamos fazer uma viagem no tempo pelo mapa Cobblestone no CSGO, revisitando os momentos mais emocionantes e históricos que ocorreram nesse mapa icônico. A Cobblestone já foi palco de algumas das jogadas mais memoráveis do competitivo. E nesse vídeo vamos rever os cluts que deixaram sua marca na história do jogo. Se você já acompanha o canal ou está chegando agora e ainda não é inscrito, deixe sua inscrição agora mesmo, antes que você esqueça. Boa parte do público que assiste nossos vídeos não é inscrito. É só uma pequena ação de se inscrever, que ajuda no crescimento do canal e também fará você não perder os próximos conteúdos. Então inscreva-se aqui embaixo. Double spray, but still a two on two, and it's going to be down to the retake. Cold just decides to go yoloing out there. What is that? And now it's all on falling to stop it from going to overtime. He's got that AWP, turns away. Not effective though. He has to hit some god tier shots. He's just taking shots all over the place out of frustration. I think that was a mass of footsteps now, and it's worked perfectly. Oh, he's got the flank, the full on flank. They have no idea. Actually, just now they might realize it, Dennis. Well, there's the angle, and Fawn manages to make it out. He's got the kit as well. And this all comes down to this who is actually going to peek first. And there's Dennis, and there's Fawn. Fawn is just way too good at this Seuss, game. Look at that running and gunning, takes down JW and Olaf Meister, Tech 9 and Armor. It's a really, really good combination, but unless they fight him one at a time, oh my god, and they will, Pronax. Helping out with that kill and Guardian going down. It's now a triple kill for Olofmeister. He's got plenty of health to do this as well. Seuss is very low. Seized. All the, oh my god, he gets another kill in now. Clotch running out. Seven seconds. Olofmeister looking for the kill. Five seconds. He goes for it. It's a headshot. And it's... Quick plant. Zipik's not going to check it. Oh, the giant trigger discipline. The lineup. He's got two. He's given himself a chance. And there's low HP on Kerrigan with AWP. They have to get back to this bomb. They've got 45 seconds to do it. And it's Config that's going to make the move first. He gets off the platform. He could totally surprise them all. As he pops back out, it's device to go down. Config, this is a huge, huge round because this was potentially in a one versus four map point for Astralis. And as mentioned, Kerrigan is low on HP. He's trying desperately to find the op pick. Still behind the wall, top middle. He's gotten a little bit closer to the van. But Config's watching the angle and he's done it. One versus four. Down, great play from Pronex. Tactical genius here. Now Freiburg is going to be walking around. That bomb is down and Freiburg looking for a way to equalize the situation. He's going to be walking up, spots Pronax here in the corner, takes him down, turns around for the 180, still 15 bullets left. Freiber clutches it, are you kidding? It's going to be a double, he does it again, and again, and again! Five, only able to get, oh, 
two kills now. But I think that is all that they will get. Oh, oh no! Oh! What? what? This is somehow going down to a 1v1 as FNX takes down nothing since he runs out of ammo, and then he grabs the headshot on the Skidoo as well, but 12 HP, and he's up against a full 8 HP player, and it's Stewie. Still has a smoke, still has a flashbang, so Stewie's looking okay. The thing is, though, is Stewie, he's just trying to DM this out right now. He's not actually bringing the bomb over to one of the sites, and it's still sitting way back over here behind the fountain. And in the meantime, Stewie has gone into the bomb site, thinking that FNX would have retreated to prepare for essentially just a regular push into that site, but it's not the case. And now, look at this, FNX is even pushed through. Doesn't have armor, mind you, but still, he's up ready to an AK, but he might get caught reloading here. They both jump out of the open and FNX. Oh my what god. What is that? He destroys Cloud9 and does the impossible. The second that he goes for that plan, the second he makes noise, he's gonna be destroyed. He gets one frag, but oh, Peter missing that shot, and that might allow him to get the bomb down. At the very least, he's gonna complete that task. So the bomb goes on the ground, guarantees him the extra money. Now he's gonna try to win this out while only having the statue position. There's no one. Way. He's done these before. This could be an ace as well. There's the flick for number four and number five. Disco Doplin does it again as a massive clutch is pulled up from him. Henny opening up, shutting down Henny. That's a strong start. Steel here gonna be going down. Kenny finding one more headshot and both he's miles away from the action. Can they get the defuse in? He's gonna tap it one. They don't realize where he is. Bolts is running in, just trying to see if he can get that kill. He sprays down Kenny and he's gonna get the kill. Triple for Bolts and 60. Missed shot from Cold Sierra. That doesn't happen very often. He's isolated back here. Still getting a kill, but they're just penetrating this chicken hut very quickly. Simple gets one on fall, and he tried to knife him, but changed his mind halfway through. Cold Sierra, one more kill, the knife are in. What's happening, Simple? Oh no, that's a huge giveaway. Cold Sierra with the quad kill instead. Oh, he takes two off quickly. The frag is going back and forth. It's all gonna be an Oscar as it gets turned on its head, rushing in through the fire and flames. He doesn't care and it's gonna pay off. Gets himself a second. Now looking for three in mid air. Money's gonna go down. A spectacular show of marks. Coming all in numbers. There it is, one on four. What are you gonna do, Fugly? Yeah, it still looks pretty good here for... Oh, what? what? Sick, I can't ask what Fugly's gonna do. He's gonna, I'm gonna headshot Ooh. everyone. What? Mason Con fix found. Just has made decent work of the situation getting three kills. He yeah. has to find all of them to win out the round. He's got 16 HP and a Tech 9 to do it. Body's lost track of him though, so he could actually pick up another one. Body nearly evading him. We'll go down. But the position favors shocks. Tech 9! Oh! Absolutely running amok. He gets taken down. But the damage he's inflicted on G2 could be fatal. Shock's gonna take the open a one on two and just make a beeline for the B site. CTs are spread up here and both looking over on the A play, but Dead Fox close to maneuvering himself onto the B side. Ooh, I like that. He did a sound cue to maybe try to fake that he was going drop down room, so this could catch Dead Fox. Look at him, he's worried about window. Just a little small detail that gives Shock's a bit more breathing room and look at the result from it. He's gonna get in, he's gonna get the plant just in time. Unbelievable. Dead Fox will be feeling sick to his stomach. And Zero's not going to be feeling too much better about this. Now Shox, with a Molotov, can play position. And of course, with such an aggressive play, he's going to go in! Oh, oh, in. Everyone's flight. blind. They know they've touched. They know there's contact made, and you still owe. JC Walking's help is able to get the better of it. Not only that, he's transferred okay, two well. more good headshots. Where's the kills from Navi? There aren't any. It's simple in a one versus five. He's down to two. Oh. He's got a third. All headshots. He better show up. Better late than never. Bomb is down. One versus two. Spots another nearly gets a free shot because the nade was thrown. But just barely, JC Walking's gets back in behind the statue and they'll be screaming, don't peek. Play this together. Play the time. A minute and five. Smokes off bomb, but won't go for it. He's hoping JC Walking's will perhaps think that he is and make a move to his detriment. A simple picks up bomb, he's got 56 seconds still to play. It would be a one versus five. Flash over, Jay-Z checks long. Doesn't fully commit to the shoulder. Simple knows he can get closer and closer, but also knows toward the door is where the other player exists. Oh, no. Perfectly baited, knew exactly what was going to happen. Fires at Nifty's AWP, and Jay-Z walks directly into it. It's yeah, down to oh, a Oh, just looks away as he crosses as well. Simple considered it. Shoulder bait before crossing stables. He's going to get the bomb down. Nifty knew he couldn't leave B because he knows that Simple no will way. play every mind game available to him. And he's done exactly that. A one versus five down to a one versus one bomb planted. And 
simple. He's holding a close enough angle that the op shouldn't be a factor. Only way that it is if it came up mid. If it followed simple all the way around the map, it's not. If he's going to get closer and closer, simple sees it and simple capitalizes. A one versus five to find map point to bail out Navi. <laughs> <laughs> a bit rough for them when Rops got into the alcove, but since then it's been pretty solid. Sticko butchers Burr up through the flashbang. And that's going to leave a mark. Flashing over does land on the player on Statue. It's actually very low, so that Molotov could start to become a bit of a nuisance if Acor's not careful. He wants to scamper off. Now, the good news for Sticko is he has control of the bomb, and there is still time left if he wants to go for the rotation. Ooh. Oh my goodness, that shot was disgusting, but unfortunately for Sticko, he doesn't land in the second. That would have put us down into a one-on-one. -on -one. Acor's only down to 13 health though, and he's picked up the second frag as well. It's now down to just a 13 HP Acor against the 39 Sticko. Pretty much the next bullet will finalize this round. Time is starting to tick down, but again, Sticko around the side is gonna get the clutch, and North Academy have just been spanked. What? A clutch from Stiko. Had a great position to start with, but I don't know if he can do it now. He's got two more players to find, Jason. <laughs> I don't know. He's got 30 seconds. He's got some time. The, the issue is the bomb is up on platform. So Device think he's already got up there. I'm not quite sure why that's happened. Device gives one up. There's no need for that kind of a play. Dupree now in the one-on-one. -on -one. 15 to 6. This is to keep FaZe alive in the map. And there it is. Nico has the battle he wants. Taps away in the head. Will clean them up as he is in a 1v3. Has to ace to pick this round up for SK. As C9 have had a, done a good job of shutting down the plat and drop room pressure simultaneously. And we watched NBK win a 1v5, so anything is possible. Fur creeps through the smoke and drops nothing as well. So he's got a tag shroud and a full HP automatic. But no bomb to play with. Still plenty of time. A minute on the clock. And the frag grenade, had that cleared the second room, could have taken out Shroud and left this to the 1v1. Oh, he's dropped Ooh. it, so it's just down to Shroud who needs another oh kill, but Fur with a 1v3 ace. Uh, he's Fantastic. got a minute to try and play this one versus two. He's going to go for the ace clutch here, James. We are asking a lot of steel in this situation. Going for a fake plant, trying to draw the CTs out with the noise of the bomb, and he's going to gamble. He thinks that they are playing to support each other and that that smoke is essentially a brick wall. Oh, the timing is absolutely perfect. Did he hit config? The game is up now. Can still do this. Four kills so far. He needs one more to clutch this win. And AC on the other side of the smoke. They've circumvented each other. Steel is now right behind AC, and he's going to go back out again, go for the check. He's got the quad, and there's the ace cut. Unbelievable play from Steel. Approach and pounce. Good shot from Skadoodle, but round over, I'm afraid Big's gonna make this 10. Why not? Oh. Will they? Because he's now picked up a gun. He's got armor to work with. The smoke's gonna bounce the wrong way, oh. but he's hit the high HP player. Keep down. Skadoodle's got something in this. He's got an argument in the say. A say in the argument, perhaps. As Gob B, 16 HP goes hunting. He's looked the wrong way. This is all Skadoodle's. This is all oh, timing. Skadoodles to lose. Bomb is in the hands of Gob B. Now, the fact that he's made it to the drop room, he likely expects that Skadoodle. <gasps> he's wrapped back around. Though, does manage to find Device. Gonna find more, though. Nico put it on a bit of a class here, leaving Zipnik's last man alive, but he can clutch like no other, so don't write him out just yet. But he's in a 1v2, and it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, Kerrigan played great at the at the rock, but now it's Zipnik's trying to wheel his way around, and he's isolated himself from behind, but it's taking so very long. There's one shot on the queue into a one on one. Alu's got the angle. Zipnik's, can he do it? He does! That is huge from Zipnix, <laughs> the Clutch Master again. Four kills in the round. Flaming with his M4. Players to his left and right. There's the first one. Magus goes down. Not too many bullets left though in the chamber. Flamey. Oh, oh, one tap onto Cajun. Hello. That's one hell of a shot. And now AZ's very low. Flamey could pull this off and he's got it. Oh my goodness, Flamey, that one time. So it's a three versus two now. And uh, Fnatic, they have a smoke on JW to try and smoke off the door. That's an important choke point. But uh, there's no time to do it. JW deploying his smoke elsewhere. And Olofmeister putting in work on the site. So where is JW? That's that's what's happening in the meantime. They know where Olofmeister is. He's looking for the next frag. It's an important one for both sides in this two versus two. JW getting taken out now. Olofmeister needs to find the one versus one. Going to take nine. And those are two is. disgusting headshots to keep a clean sheet for Fnatic. Oh, Gobby follows up. As Lucas is hot on the flank, the bomb not yet planted. He times this. He could easily take down the planter. He's got to be careful with his aim. And he's oh, followed it up. Resets it and goes back for next. But God be in the gear so low on HP as well. Absolute blunder there from Big, not watching their angles at all. You've got five players alive. Why is no one watching the platform? And Eddie, he finds another kill as well. Takes two! 
This is falling apart for Big. He's up to Godfrey on 15 HP. The bomb has not been bothered. Surely he can't do it. And it's Henny who steps up just when they need him. Three kills in the round. He's been enabled again. Let's see what he's able to do in this round. A 1v3 is going to be tough. That's a good start, though. Doesn't take any damage really from that. Now on 1v2, and he's got nades here to eliminate some of the positions to play the, deduc the deduction game as to where these T's are standing. Now close to the site, eliminated almost all the positions. They have to be on the site. They're playing the trade game. Oh, no! They peek together into the spray, and an unlikely round for shocks as G2 still, they dash the chances. And now all up to Shazam and Connector on his own. Four players to deal with. Molotov's going to push it back. Might be doing well to save here in this round. He might... Just look to hold on to the AWP. Tries to find Fuggy, does get one exit frag, but definitely not a round victory here. And at this point in overtime, that is exactly what you need. Quick scope, take down one more, and the no scope on Sark. Okay, hello Shazam, what are you doing? What? I do not believe it. That's a 4K, but does he have time to defuse the bomb? Defuse kit in his hand, five seconds, it's ticking. And I do not believe it, but Shazam has just pulled off. Should be counting to kill for him. There it is. Heads up to Stewie. Oh, what? Gets keep Ooh. nails next up to Stewie. You don't need anybody else. Cloud nine. Oh, oh, down. Pro next, close to drop down here. Got to be careful. They're coming and in force. Apex around the corner. Pronax gonna get sprayed down. There's the opening, but all of my is up on the box. He takes one, two, turns a 180, but then Kiyoshima shows up. And we're gonna be in a 2v2, 35 seconds. The bomb being put down, but look at this flusher through the smoke, and he drops him. He's got eight bullets left. Kiyoshima has to go for the quad kill here to win the round and extend this series. Fnatic, they're dangerously close to a victory. 22 seconds, and it's ticking away. He has to commit or get the kill. One or the other, a flash out to buy time, Kiyoshima flanking all the way around. Flusher sees him, nearly drops him. 10 seconds, 9 seconds. Flusher, is he going to move closer? Kiyoshima has to hold it down. 9 bullets and he stops it. Kiyoshima gets oh, oh my god! god. He's be he win. Obrigado por assistir até o final. Lembre-se de curtir e se inscrever no canal. Caso você queira, tem outros dois vídeos do canal que eu recomendo que você assista aparecendo aqui na tela. Por hoje é isso. Obrigado por assistir até o final. Fique bem e valeu. You gotta slow it down, girl, you moving too fast for me Nobody did it like this, so they wonder, they asking me If I can slow it down, cause it's coming too fast for me Baby, don't try, just stop